Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the waffle stitch crochet pattern. The yarn that you can use for this crochet pattern is really any yarn that you want to use for your project. This is a great stitch to use for a bulky yarn. I know sometimes people have a hard time deciding what stitch to use with a bulky or super bulky size yarn. The crochet hook that you will need is just whatever crochet hook is recommended on the yarn label itself. If you don't have a yarn label or you would still like to look into how to figure out what crochet hook to use with your yarn, I actually just made a video. I will put a link right here at the top of the screen. Click on that link, watch the quick video on which crochet hook pairs best with which size yarn, and that will set you up for success. The level of this crochet pattern is considered an easy level crochet stitch, or I would say an advanced beginner. The stitches that we will be utilizing for this crochet stitch are chains, double crochet stitches, front post double crochet stitches, and back post double crochet stitches. If you are familiar with these stitches, you will be fine. This pattern is used to make many baby blankets. It's very popular for baby blankets, very popular for washcloths scarves, sweaters. You can utilize this pattern with whatever project you want to utilize it in. Those seem to be the most popular projects to utilize this crochet stitch in. There is a stitch count requirement for the waffle crochet stitch. It is in a multiple of three plus two. If you would like to make a blanket utilizing this waffle crochet stitch, I will include a chart that has all of the blankets and their dimensions to meet that blanket size requirement. What you will do is you will chain your foundation row chain in a multiple of three plus two, then grab your tape measure and measure it to make sure it has met blanket dimensions width wise. What I recommend you do is then make two rows of the pattern and remeasure. I have found that oftentimes making a blanket getting a couple rows in, you notice that the, the dimension starts to shrink because the stitches are tighter, or you could have the reverse effect where your blanket actually started to get longer because your stitches may be wider or more going on in the pattern and your dimension changes. So two rows in, Remeasure, see where you're at, and if you need to take the blanket apart, you're only two rows in, so you haven't fully invested a lot of time, and you can decide right then and there, can I continue going? Is my dimension good? Can I get away with just adding a border at the, at the edges, or do I need to just start over? When it comes to this pattern, I'm going to create a swatch. So having the swatch be in a multiple, again, the stitch count requirement is three plus two, I'm going to make my swatch 17 chains wide, starting with a tail long enough for us to weave in our ends at the end of the project. Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. So I am going to chain 17 chains. One, two, three, four, 15, 16, 17. Great! We are ready for row one of our pattern. For row one, you will double crochet in the fourth chain from your crochet hook. Remember that the loop on your crochet hook does not count as a chain. We want to look at our V-stitches. One, two, three, four. Double crochet in that fourth chain. The three chains that we just skipped do count as your first double crochet stitch. So technically we now have two double crochet stitches. You will continue making one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across your row one. I will meet you at the very end of row one to show you how we move on to row two. Last double crochet stitch. Perfect, great, we have just finished row one and this is what it'll look like. Just a bunch of double crochet stitches. To move on to row two, we will chain three. One, two, three, turn our work. 
That chain three counts as our very first stitch, our very first double crochet. It will actually take the stitch, take the space of the first stitch. Our next stitch will be a front post double crochet made around the second double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert our crochet hook into the side space of the stitch, go behind and come out the other side of the stitch, yarn over, pull that yarn through so it's like flossing behind that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's what we're looking at. The next three stitches, we will back post double crochet around those stitches. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook from the back to the front of that space between the two stitches, push that double crochet back and go through the next space between those two stitches. Yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that is our back post. Another back post. One more back post for a total of three back post double crochet stitches. Great. And then repeat. Next stitch, we will front post double crochet. And three back post double crochets. One. two, three. There go, and then repeat. Front post, three back posts, one, two, three. Once you reach the very end of row two, you will notice two stitches remaining. You will front post over the first double crochet stitch. And in the next stitch, you will make a regular double crochet. So in that third chain, regular double crochet. You will notice with the waffle stitch that there is kind of a border around it. It'll be double crochet first, then your front post, and at the end it'll be front post and then a double crochet stitch to kind of frame the waffle stitch. All right, let's move on to row three. For row three, again, we chain three. One, two, three. It's how you begin every row with a chain three. That chain three counts as a stitch of every row. We will skip that first double crochet stitch on the side because that chain three counts as the double crochet stitch taking that space. Back post double crochet around the front post of the previous row. Come through, see the pronounced stitch, just go behind it. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We want to back post double crochet here because we want all the posts to stay on one side of this creation. You'll notice that all the texture will be on one side. There we go. Continuing this line all the way up. And on the other side, it will be relatively flat. Next three stitches, we are making a regular double crochet stitch. So this stitch is already taken. Next stitch, regular double crochet. One. Regular double crochet, two. Regular double crochet, three. 
Next stitch is a back post double crochet stitch, and we just repeat back post, okay? Then three regular double crochets, one, two, three, back post double crochet, three regular double crochets, one, two, three, and when you reach the very end of row three, the last two stitches here, you will back post double crochet around the front post double crochet of the previous row, and you will end with a regular double crochet in the third chain, one, two, three, to close row three. That is what that side will look like. Chain three to move on to the next row. One, two, three. Turn our work. And with this side, you will see those posts stick out. Again, you want all the posts to stick out one side and the other side, everything is flat. So you repeat row two, row three, row two, row three, row two, row three, ending your very last row on a row two. Super important. All right, that's it. That's all you need to know for the waffle stitch pattern. If you would like more instruction or need to repeat row two, row three, feel free to rewind the video or go back in the video and watch row two, which is what we would be doing for row four, every even row, and then row three would go, or row five would just be a repeat of row three, and row two, row three. If you enjoyed this pattern, you might enjoy some of my other crochet pattern videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you <laughs> with my next video. Bye guys.